My name is James Puccini. I've been a blockchain developer since 2017. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Solidity callbacks to transfer data between functions in separate contracts. This is widely used throughout DeFi when integrating with third party protocols and doing things like flash loans. So here we have two contracts. We have a parent contract and a child contract. And the child is going to call the parent contract. So we're going to deploy both of these and then we're going to call the function run. This is going to call the parent address, which we're actually passing in as a constructor variable. So we're going to deploy this one first, get that contract address, and then pass that into the constructor. The constructor only runs the first time the contract is deployed. Once that's got that parent address, it can call this parent function. We don't need an interface here because the actual contract is defined here. So we can use that parent variable because the contract's defined with the parent address to call the parent function, which is this one, passing in a variable which we're going to pass back. And then we're getting this callback value. The callback value is actually a function. We're passing through, we're passing through this function, which takes a child variable, and it times it by two and stores that in the public state variable here. So we go to the parent contract now. We've got a parent variable, which is a state variable. We get passing in that parent variable and then setting it first. And then we're calling back the parent variable times two. So we're going to be called back. This function is going to be executing times two here and times two here. Let's go ahead and deploy this and see what happens. So I'm going to deploy the parent first. This is on a local network. And I'm going to pass the parent address through to the child contract and deploy that. And the parent variable and the child variable are both set to zero as standard. But now if we call run with new variable, let's say four, we can see the parent variable is set to four because we're passing that value through here and it's being set before anything, any multiplier has been added. But then when we call it back, it's actually updating the child variable because we're passing through this function. It's passing through the function here. So it's actually accessing the state data on the child contract. So if we check the child variable again, we got 16 because the four is multiplied here to eight and it's multiplied again here to 16. That is then updated to the state forage variable, which we're reading here. This is an example of how we can pass through a function through to a callback and have that modify state values on the child contract. If you want to learn more about how this works, then the best way I think is to experiment with code. You can go to the Solidity Snippets smart contract library and all this is open source. Copy and paste this into Remix and have a play around with it. It's a great way to understand how we can build on the Lego bricks of DeFi and interact with third party protocols, passing data between different contract functions. I hope this tutorial has been insightful and enjoyable. Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in DeFi and developer insights, then subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.